You are watching News Talk with Simone Ivani on International News Channel at Tag TV. Targeted because of their Muslim faith, a vehicle attack claimed the lives of four members of the Afzal family in London, Ontario this past weekend. The family leaves behind their nine-year-old son, who remains in the hospital with injuries. Nathaniel Veltman, the 20-year-old perpetrator, is currently in custody and facing four counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted murder. The incident is reminding people of the 2017 Quebec mosque attack, which killed six men and left eight wounded after their evening prayers. While Veltman's opinions are not yet public knowledge, police have said that they have reason to believe he was motivated by hatred. Joining me today to discuss the incident is NDP MPP Fezal Hassan. Thank you for joining me, MPP Hassan. Thank so, you. Uh, thank you, Simone, for inviting me. So being part of the Ontario's Muslim community yourself, hearing the news of the attack must have been very hard for you. So how are you coping? How is your family coping? Oh, thank you for inviting me. Inna lillahi wa inna ira um, uh, I am shocked uh, and it is very painful as a Muslim, as an Ontarian, as also, um, uh, also as a Canadian. Islamophobia is a very real. Uh, my thoughts are with the family and the Muslim community uh, hearing of the deep uh, disturbing uh, violent act um, and tragic loss of life in London. And we need a serious wake up call to the Islamophobia and racism faced every day in Ontario, it must end, and it must end now. I, I hear you, I completely hear you. So in terms of that, Ontario opposition leader Andrea Horwath wrote on Twitter that she was horrified to learn of the disgusting act of Islamophobic terror in London, which targeted and killed three generations of a family. So what do you think are some of the measures that the opposition wants the Ontario government to take in order to combat religious intolerance within the province? Absolutely. I mean, my leader uh, uh, has been consistent, you know, has been calling uh, for uh, a provincial strategy of action. You know, what, what we have seen now is an entire family being uh, being taken uh, by extremist, uh, uh, violent uh, act. And we know this is, was not the first. Uh, this was also happened in uh, the mosque, in IMO, and also it happened elsewhere in Quebec. We need to come together and, and, and deal with this issue quickly and have a, 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 a st provincial strategy for, Islam, for, uh, for uh, Islamic phobia and anti-Islam strategy to tackle this hate and hatefulness. And, um, and I think that is what also my leader has shown, uh, a strong leadership. And also uh, she's also concerned the safety of every member of our community to make sure that um, uh, people who are minding their own business, like the Afsa uh, family, should be safe in their community, uh, and that uh, we also protect um, uh, uh, the community uh, from these extremist um, uh, domestic uh, terrorists. So as a parliamentarian then, what do you advise people do if they're experiencing prejudice because of their religion, or in general feel vulnerable because of their race or their faith? Well, speak out speak out uh, immediately and um, uh, um, don't just uh, uh, keep uh, anything like if you see any harassments uh, anything that is uh, uh, fearful of your life uh, speak up speak to the authorities uh, share with with the community call your elected members we need to make sure all kinds of of, of uh, um, fearfulness and that kind of uh, violence uh, is not uh, uh, welcome in our community and we are united as you have also uh, saw this uh, uh, last night uh, my leader and and all the leaders of the provincial and federal came together to send strong message and these domestic uh, terrorism is also homegrown and we need to tackle these extremism uh, that is targeting the muslim community and all forms of hate uh, whether it is anti-indigenous anti-Semitism and, and, and all forms of hate and hateful, hatefulness uh, that has been uh, shown and growing, and especially uh, Islamophobia and anti-Islam, which has been uh, going on for quite some time now. And we see the actions, we've seen uh, the loss of the family in London, of Saha family. Um, and that's why uh, we need to make sure that if you experience any kind of, um, um, of fear or threat, Please speak up, call the authorities, and report it 
so that we can we can we can deal with it. And we need also the enforcement uh, authorities to deal with uh, these domestic um, uh, terror. Yeah. The uh, leaders did come together yesterday and they did send a great message that they are standing there with Ontarians during this time. But how would you recommend the citizens of Ontario support each other during these difficult times? Absolutely, you're right. We need to come together and stand united against Islamophobia. Uh, we need to stand together against uh, uh, anti uh, uh, Muslim, anti Islamophobia hater. Uh, we are also. Um, uh, coming together to show, and we have seen that uh, the people of Ontario have shown um, a lot of love, a lot of uh, sympathy. There have been a lot of writings, a lot of solidarity, and we need to make sure that we translate into action. And we, we are calling uh, for a provincial strategy to address Islamophobia, and we've seen the goodwill of, of Ontarians. But we need to tackle the extremism, and you, you know, I cannot imagine 20 year old. Uh, having that hater uh, to simply take uh, uh, the lives of a three-generation family, minding their own business, working on these streets. Uh, and we have to make sure that to reassure every Muslim member of our community, they are safe in their communities. So speaking of Islamophobia in that case, then, the discussion surrounding that has always been in the air, but it has definitely increased since the incident. And in fact, the federal NDP leader Jagmeet Singh has recently said, and I quote, Muslims are not safe in Canada. What do you think about that? Do you think it's true, false? Well, it is true, and I share and I concur his statement. He's shown strong leadership, and that's what we need, the leaders of all political uh, uh, leaders from federal and provincial. And I think um, a hate has no place in our community, whether it is in Ontario or any other province or coast to coast, if we see that uh, hate like that, we need to make sure. And as you know, uh, this hate against the Muslims has not just started. As you know, the former president of the United States uh, have been spreading that kind of uh, um, uh, hate uh, and his Muslim ban and all sort of uh, targeted uh, Muslim community in that sense. It has struck it down and this is ideology against the uh, Muslims in, 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 in Ontario and we show the actions of, of, of London, Ontario, and I think it, it is a, a great um, um, uh, statement that uh, Jagmeet Singh uh, showed uh, uh, a positive and strong leadership, and we want the Prime Minister, as well as the other uh, uh, official opposition from the federal side, to also uh, join him hand in hand and tackle, and that's why I think we need all levels of government tackling these, uh, uh, not only provincial strategy, but a national strategy to tackle anti-Islam anti and anti-Islamophobia. So I, I know you just mentioned the previous president of the United States and his take on this. Do you think that is a leading reason in the increase of the anti-Muslim sentiment in Canada? Or do you think there are other reasons or other reasonings? Well, I think when, when a leader of the, of the, of the free world uh, a target is uh, a Muslims because, as you see in the incident in London, that family, because of their religion, were targeted because they were Muslims, and that is a hate and its hatefulness. And also, uh, the all levels of government and authorities have have actually recognized this is a domestic uh, group, and it requires also a strong uh, message to tackle. And when uh, uh, former presidents and people like that who are in in a leadership spreads uh, hate uh, in that sense, uh, a lot of people will pick up in that sense. And that's why we need in Canada to show uh, a hope. We need to show a leadership, not to follow places um, like south of, uh, of the border, but also have, uh, because we have been known a country of a peaceful Canada, uh, that uh, folks uh, from all over the world come here to seek peace and safety. And we need to reassert and re also uh, uh, show a leadership, a strong leadership, and certainly uh, my leader, Andrew Horvat, uh, uh, has also um, shown uh, a strong leadership, as you know, uh, that we want to also make sure that every single uh, member of, 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 of Ontarians, every member of, of, uh, of our communities across the province need to be safe, and we need to work together, as I said, that um, uh, the people of Goodwill are coming together to in solidarity to address this a serious um, act 
of a violence uh, act. But I think suddenly it doesn't help uh, when uh, leaders um, uh, uh, like the former president is, is also spreading um, uh, that kind of hate and it will also trickle down to other folks um, who also have um, uh, that kind of uh, extremism views. And we need to tackle not only anti-Islam, uh, anti-Muslims, uh, 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 Islamophobia, but also anti-Semitism and anti-Indigenous as well, and anti-racism that is also growing in our province and in our country. I, I can't imagine how hard it might be for you to be speaking about this. So I really want to thank you for joining me and speaking about this today. Well, thank you, Simone. I really appreciate it for the opportunity, uh, for uh, welcoming me again, uh, and also speaking to your audiences. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. You are watching News Talk on International News Channel. I am Simone Iwani.